Hi, it's Phil from Inclusive Music, teaching the world to make music with technology. This video has been over a year in the making. I apologise for that. I knew it was going to be epic, uh, but it's going to show you where we left off with how to make some cinematic music using BandLab. So now there's three videos out there. There's the blank silent one where you just see the video, the Halo video game trailer. Then there's the finished version where I've done a soundtrack myself. And of course, there's this new one where I show you step by step how I constructed the soundtrack that I put together for this video. It's a long process, but it's a fun process and I really hope you enjoy it. Okay, so let's get started. I've got the Halo soundtrack here and I can play that when I'm putting my music together. And I've also got the timings here and that tells me when the scene changes. So the first part from the beginning to five seconds in is the whole dripping water. So that's how it starts. I want something mysterious. So let's bring up Band Lab. And the first thing we want to do is find appropriate loop packs. So I'm going to click on packs and there's a number of different options. I can see what the genres are. Film and soundtrack is obviously a great place to start. So let's click on that. So it's probably the cinematic pack and the cinematic loop pack I want to start. I can audition the sounds here. That's quite mysterious. I like the symbol, but I'm not so keen on the happy sound that they're coming up with. So let's go with this to start with. To click on a sound. Just do that with a mouse. Dark tension. That's the sort of thing I'm looking for. So that's the one I like. I've dragged it across and I'm going to position it at bar one. Now I need to make sure that I've got this display right. I want minutes and seconds as opposed to beats and measures. So minutes and seconds. So let's go to the beginning. Rewind. That's five seconds and that's when the first section ends. So let's bring up that film as well. I can start it right there. Okay, so it's all changed up to five seconds. So I need this to be either a bit slower or I'll make it shorter. To make it shorter, drag it in like that. And let's get five seconds so we know what we're doing. longer and I'm looking up at this 05.5 here making a bit longer I don't want to end it suddenly so I'm going to fade it out to do that I can double click and get this handle here just move that and drag that there let's have a listen to that We'll leave it like that. It's not going to be perfect yet. We'll come back to making it really tight at the end. Let's bring up the soundtrack again. Okay, so what we can see is 
the dripping tunnel and then it goes to the dark mountain a couple of seconds there's a flashlight there from the sky that's intriguing so let's see for what we can find okay that's that symbols quite nice because it's got a build up bit of a crescendo there so I'm going to drop that in on a new track now and if I move that so it starts before the end of this one we will get this effect now I don't like these two little crashes in the middle so what I can do is cut them out so let's the cursor there right click and slice and then we can move across to about there right click and slice there we are three parts now I'm going to get rid of that in the middle delete with the mouse or the keyboard and I'm going to put those together let's see uh, how that sounds let's go from the beginning Yes, I've got a, a bit of a crash going on there. So might even use just the end of this because uh, it's got a nice build up and here we go. Ends a bit suddenly that. So a little trick uh, I can do is copy this, copy and paste and reverse it so right click let's just move this out of the way and down here we've got reverse region that reverses the symbol and I might just overlap it not too worried about mixing tracks here what I mean by that is the synth is on that track and the symbol is on this track because I want I'm more interested in getting the overlap let's have a listen <laughs> Okay, it's a bit loud. Um, what I could do is double click that one and this time um, drag the fade in from the beginning like that. And then I'm making it shorter down here. And now I've made it shorter, I need to overlap it a bit. And I'm going to drag this in because it's a sudden stop here I'm going to drag this fade in there hopefully allowing that to fade out a little bit more gently good that's the effect I wanted that's nice and smooth but let's have a listen from the beginning rewind this don't forget to save your work as you go along so let me call this the cinematic halo project there we go and let's save that so I won't lose it let's play it from the beginning it'll do for now it's not perfect but it does end exactly where the startled Deers come in, and there they are. So let's have a quick look at this. Drinking peacefully, then suddenly they look up. They have heard something or smelt something, and there's a sense of danger. The next scene is a fire. Let's see what we've got. I think I saw something that said danger here. Yep, echoes of danger. interesting so I'm going to drag that in and I'm going to drop it about there let's rewind and go from about bar four ok 
Okay, I'm going to drag it in a little bit and I'm going to play the beginning. Rewind just to make sure we're roughly in the right place. I'll come a little bit late, I think, which means I have to move each section, each track, each sample to the left. I think I want them to look up on the doo doo. I want the deers to look up, but they don't look up straight away, so I might add something in between. Something a bit bassy. Okay, that's quite nice. I've used this before at the beginning. So let's drag that up here. I'm going to use this track. And that, what I really need to do now is get the echoes of danger is where are the deer look up. I want to try and get the timing right. So rewind. And you can see this is a painstaking process, but the overall effect will hopefully be really good and really dramatic. One, two, three, four. Start. Okay, I came in too fast with the echoes of danger, so that's got to go to the right. And I want this, as soon as it comes in, the echoes of danger, I want this to fade out. So double click if you remember, drag this over. That's fading in nicely, and then Fading it out. Rewind. Let's bring back the film. Two, three, four, start. Still a bit early, so to the right. That moves it to about 11 seconds and it's worth referencing this number here because if you remember in my timings, which are there, I can see that the deer drinking starts at 9. The deer gets startled at 12. So I could actually move this up, move it along. There's 12 and that will give me another way of getting it in the right place. Let's pause, rewind, play, two, three, four. So if I look at this film and see the timeline, I can see that this scene which is the trees just after the deer comes in at about 13 seconds. So another way to get this quite accurate is to move the cursor until we see 13 seconds, 13 seconds, there it is, dead on. And that will give us a, a really useful guide as to where to put the next sound. Now, this one I like. It's pretty nondescript, but it's sort of got a sense of danger to it or maybe mystery. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put it up at the top. No particular reason. And that's dead on 13 seconds. So let's continue. I'm going to press the play button here. That goes on till 17 seconds. So let's now move this on to 17 seconds. Okay, it's just about at the end of that section. So I can now shorten this. Maybe I'm going to shorten it just where it gets quiet. 
and the smaller the waveform the quieter it is so that's about there and just to make double short doesn't sound too sudden I'm going to just fade it out slightly there let's have a quick listen <laughs> So let's see this 17 seconds in. We've got a new scene, some symbols on a cave. So that lasts for about four seconds. So it's again a bit mysterious. I've just got into heroic orchestra here. There's not too much in there. So let's go back to packs, genres, film and soundtrack, cinematic pack, lush cinematic soundscapes. Let's go back to this one. And reminding ourselves that it's the symbols, something mysterious. As you can see here, there's some things that are just totally unsuitable. So back, I might just go and search through the loop, that's another way to look at it. Dark, atmospheric textures, synths. We have such a huge choice, it's absolutely amazing. And we're not looking for anything that's really got a tune because it's not that type of project. And if you look at the other video that I've done, Let's type in uh, film, create music for film, here it is. And this is where you can get the soundtrack on its own. It's on YouTube, it's free. And we can see here, this is all the details of where the sounds change. So ancient writing, 17. I've also got um, suggestion of packs, heroic orchestra, new age ambient, we haven't tried that yet, subliminal atmospheres. Let's try that one. Okay, back to here. Subliminal. There it is. That's quite nice. that was the one uh, let's drop it in there let's just check on where we are we said um, 17 around 17 so let's go up here move it so yeah about the end of here so let's come in we've got a nice build up there so let's see how that sounds That's good. That works for me anyway. Next one, Desert Vehicle 21. Okay, about there. And let's get the film back up. Let's have a look what it does. Okay, so some vehicle in the background there, a lot of dust, and we're in the desert. Let's see if we've got anything here then that might be of interest. Maybe if I can try typing car, see what comes up. Let's go up to loops then, car. Mm. Nothing I can see there. Let's try transport. Just guessing really. Transport, loops, nothing there. Let's try storm. How about that? Desert storm. Let's just try storm. Okay, maybe we'll use that then. Drag it into about there just before. Yes, yeah, a sudden start, so I'm going to fade that in. It's always a good idea. Makes it sound much smoother.
and I'm going to fade this one out or just cut it maybe here. Right click, slice, delete that section, double click, fade it out. Fade it out a bit quicker or a bit longer. And we've got some sound effects here, but I'd still like some sound, some music. Not music as such, but some form of instrument. So back to, let's go for character. And uh, intense, oh, we're in packs at the moment. Anything like atmospheric textures? Okay, let's try it. Hmm, that's quite interesting. Let's drop it in. Might go a little bit after the start of the car. Let's have a listen. Okay, it's time to try it with the track, uh, the music as it were, or the film I should say. So from the beginning I think. Two, three, four, play. That worked okay. I want to change it when this um, walkie-talkie in the tent comes in. So let's just take that back. So it's around 25, just 25 seconds. It's a similar shot because it's in the desert. Cut this one out there. If I press S on the keyboard, that slices it as well. And uh, once again, I'm going to fade it out. That's nice. Again, a mysterious scene. Let's get it back in. What does it look like? It looks like an abandoned tent, something that's been destroyed, maybe. Okay, I like that one. So we'll drop it in up there for a minute. 25 seconds, so let's make sure we're there, about there. So that's when it can come in. Let's have a listen. Green one dominates a bit too much there, so I'm going to fade that out, I think. Fade that out. Allow this one, the blue one, to take over. So there's the fade button down here. Let's continue. Next scene is... Oh, this is interesting. So... Yeah, that falls over, so there's some activity. I think we should represent that musically, so possibly that vehicle going past outside. So it might be an idea to continue this a bit. And when it falls, let's find exactly when it falls. About 29. I want to emphasize that. Let's go back to 29. Yeah, with some form of crash or a bang let's try something like impact maybe i'm searching 
the loops, impact, impact thud. Hmm, that's nice. Drop it in there. I want to be quite accurate on this one because it's a. Uh, it actually falls down, doesn't it? And it'd be great to get that really well synchronised. And some form of rumble would be good as well. So I'm going to take everything out at that point, maybe. That's fading out. We'll cut that there. So the impact really counts. Okay, that was the sort of effect. Let's rewind both the track and the video. Let's bring this down a little bit and have a listen and have a look. Two, three, four, go. Okay, uh, well, it's not a car, I've just noticed. It looks like a beast. It looks like that beast, possibly. So let's just stop that for a minute and go back as fast forward. So in the tent, yeah, there's a shadow there behind. And it looks like an animal. And I think we see a little bit later. Um, there is some form of dinosaur or rhinoceros thingy so the custom impact is good maybe something like a rumble um, before it because it's obviously on the run nothing suitable there maybe some drums then maybe I saw some in drums here I like that, so I might use that later. Dark Tension 1. Make a note of that. Um, okay, let's think. Animal Running um, Stampede. Bit of a long shot here. No, we get things like stamped. So when we when we search in BandLab, unfortunately, it's not as intelligent as we might think. It comes up with a a word, but stamped is nothing like stampede, although it's got stamped in it. No, not suitable. Worth a try though. Part of the fun. Um, packs. Let's go for something um, moody. Mm, moody. Let's try that. <laughs> I like that. It's not quite what I had in mind, but let's go with it. So let's drop it in here. And let's go back to the film. And 
So the walkie-talkie, this looks quite ominous anyway, so let's say 30. Yeah, this is uh, looks like some footprints, um, possibly that creature, 30 to 35, so that would be good. That's 30 seconds, so let's drag it there. It finishes at 35, what comes after it, this beast? Okay, we could continue the, the this dread type of drone. Let's save the song or the soundscape so far. I want to emphasize this beast. So it comes in at 30 about 35 there it is 35 what does it do let's find out it just is breathing so uh, the base is probably maybe good enough what happens next a dark mountain and something in the sky there's a flash in the sky so if we could synchronize that with a sound it would be great so the flash is about 39. 39, let's move this over. Again, it's one of those things that if we can synchronize it perfectly, I think that would be good. I'm gonna slice that track here and um, we'll fade it out, I think, over about a second or so. Some form of, how about thunder? That'd be quite interesting. Thunder impact. That's quite nice. Do anything with a groove. Anything with a groove is likely to be a, a drum. Yes, there we are. We're, we're looking for effects, and on the side here, you can see effects as the instrument. That's quite nice too. Yep, I like that one. Let's drop it in. About there. And let's rewind the track. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So that was good, I got the lightning exactly right. That worked, the thunder strike, that worked well. A few things not quite right there, and I think when the animal breathes, some sound, maybe, maybe a cymbal. That's quite good, because that sort of sounds like a sniff. <laughs> Let's find out where that beast was snorting. And it is about 36. Okay. That's a sort of, that'll work well, I think, with the rhino beast. Uh, we've just got to check that it's in the right place, but we'll continue. Good. Right. We are... We've got the thunder impact, which was the... this uh, flash in the sky. So at 39, we have got these beasts stampeding. 
think that could be something rhythmic because there's a lot of a lot of animals something um like drums maybe so samples genres all the genres f film and soundtrack let's go back to this one um drums tension no drums are here I wanted something a bit faster, I think. So the dark tension rhythm. I like that. So that fast um, rhythm, it's a synthesizer, but I think that's going to add to the tension. So let's find out when it starts. About 41. 41. Yeah, let's just, just go moving the screen a bit. Bring that back. So 41 seconds. Uh, there. And uh, which one was it? This one? Yeah. So let's have a listen from here. Okay, um, another thing we could try is effects, although there would probably be many. I do like that. I'd like to put that where the walkie talkie comes in because it's got that sort of staticky type sound. Where was it? Let's just go back then and find out. So, found the sound. I think it could fit. Uh, there. T yeah, 20. Start at 26. Okay, and remember this is not 26 bars. That's not what we're looking at because that's 50 seconds. So, please don't make that mistake. I'm going back to 20 six seconds there it is and I've forgotten which one it was now yeah it was that first one it's quite long let's have a session That's quite nice. Okay, got distracted there, went back, but it's all useful. What else have we got here? <laughs> yeah, this is very random fishing, really. Nothing really strikes me as any good. Let's go back to where we were. We were on about 41 seconds, so... Let's go up here. Yes. Stampeding animals. And then it's a much more natural nature scene. Oh, there is something passing in the background. So there's the, uh, the beasties are passing, so they calm down a bit. So we need to take the tension down at about 48. So let's fade out the tension. And something peaceful. I'll try drone. Quite like that. It's not so ominous. So let's add that. It's quiet. I can see it's quiet because it's it's um a small waveform. That needs to be ended sooner and faded out. So what have we got here, this bit? 
Yeah, so some devastation by the looks of it. Maybe something sad. Uh, let's try sad. Nope. Oh, that is sad. Nope, let's go for... Yes. I like that a lot. It might be a bit of a cliche in terms of the chords used in the minor key. It doesn't matter. If it sounds good, we'll use it. And I'll bring it in exactly, if I can, on, uh, on there, on the change. So just before 50 seconds just before 50 about there let's try that and so I want to shorten this because it clashes and we're going to fade it out Mm, I'm thinking now that, that let's just see how long this lasts 50 55 56 seconds 56 seconds so about there so hmm how much of the sadness do we hear yeah I'm tempted to get rid of that drone and instead play this sad one so the sadness starts, if you like. The sadness starts here. About there. Um, 46. 46. 46 goes about there. All right, let's try it. Make sure that stops a bit earlier then. Have I got that fading out? I have. So that finishes at um, 54, 54 seconds. Okay. Hmm. Right. I want it to be a little bit longer. And there's a little trick I can use if I right click, I can go to audio stretch. And there's the speed. I want to slow it down by 10%. So what you should see is when I click on this, uh, the sample will get longer. So watch where the marker is on bar 28 and watch the green pad. Three, two, one, click. There it goes. I've got that little bit more. Nice little trick. Let's find out when that stops now. 54 seconds, 54.9. I think I'm going to do a little bit more audio stretch minus 10% speed one two three there we go and let's fade it out again just slightly don't like sudden stops I want all these sounds to fade in together let's move on nearly there 56 and then we've got the C and oh something nasty in the C whether that's human or animal we're not sure or machine hard to say but we need something suggesting possibly some C and something ominous I did see something earlier can I find it can I remember what it was um, genres film and soundtrack was it textures let's try it. text textures it's probably worth making notes as you go along if you come across anything you think suitable either drop it in a what I call a freeze track a spare track and mute the track or make a note of it in the lyrics and notes tabs here voices of the sea
possible, possible. It's a bit too happy for my liking. That's quite nice. Where does it come in exactly? 56. Okay, so let's put this onto 56. Perfect omniscience. It builds up again, so that's a crescendo. That might be just what we want. Finishes at about bar 33. Let's just move that samples tab. Finishes there, and that is 103. So let's see if we've got enough. Yeah, it changes at about 101. Okay, that's good. So I can afford to fade that out a little bit. Next is shadows of human type creatures, possibly aliens. They look quite human. Um, okay, they're walking on the beach. Something perhaps slow and rhythmic, going back to those drums that we've tried before. Um, I think that was Cinematic Loop Pack 2. Uh, uncertain impact. That's good. I like that. Let's drop it in. One. Oh. One. So one oh one. Wait. One oh two. Just before one oh two. Just before 102, right there. That's where the drums can come in. Again, it'd be nice to get that as accurate as I can on these shadows appearing. That goes on for... to about 106. And then we've got these guys doing bad things, it looks like. Who knows how we interpret this, but they're dropping some canisters of gas. Although it could be a signal. They could be signalling to helicopter, that that's where they are. Who knows? That's up to you to decide what it all means. So some, some sense of mystery here. And possibly ominous 105. Are they up to good? Are they up to bad? Who knows? Is there anything here? That's good. I like that. We've used it right at the start, I think. So that would give it a sort of cyclic feel to it. It's ominous. It's suggestive. Yeah, there it is. Dark Exodus 01. I'm looking at Dark Synth Exodus. Yeah, same one. Same group. Slightly different. <laughs> So we'll have this one fading out. Let's move on. Changes at 109. So something needs to change, I think, at 109. Let's I've got to go back a bit to one. There it is. 108, 109. Let's bring that back. Well, actually, it's the same picture. From a different angle so i think we'll leave that and we'll just put something on top if we can find a, a dark synthesis 
synthesis dark synth exodus three it's in a minor so if i can find something in a minor some higher sound that'd be quite nice loops this is a bit random a minor <laughs> 3 a.m that's not going to work although i have got a few a minors coming up here what about this oh no it's too rhythmic and that could be the problem a minor could be here forever one shots these are sounds that don't loop they just play once um, a major a minor uh, probably not you'll soon get the idea of whether you're wasting your time or not remembering that band lab is mainly for electronic well not, not necessarily electronic music but it's definitely for making music rather than sound tracks, but yeah, it has got a few packs that that are usable. Um, effects, atmospheric textures. Quite like that. Drop it in. Can build up it's got a quiet crescendo there but those two don't go together I don't think my personal opinion you decide if uh, you think they do so I'm going to probably shorten this and then fade it out Okay, we come up to the end, so we want to, um, well, let's, well, let's see what happens. Right, it just, oh, excitement. So we, that's where we are. That can go till 16, probably can keep going because we're just zooming out. And then at 120, we've got some other being a different breed possibly who knows um, that's at 122 so let's go up to here 122 there we go that's how it finishes so I think we're gonna finish on an ominous note something dramatic again I like the start of that, I like where it's lowering in pitch, uh, but I don't want it coming back up. You can see by the waveform where it's going low, and it starts going higher here. So I want to stop it there. Just my choice again, and then I want something a little bit more, bit more of an impact. We'll still have a listen to these. That's interesting. Um, how would this sound? Possibly some uh, drums now. Grass. 
That, of course, reminds me of them walking a little bit back here. So I think I'm going to add there 105. I'm going to go out to add some grass as you do. 105. There we go. Grass. So these are sound effects. They fit well. They're not music. But adding the two together is quite nice, I think. that one out this is the icing on the cake I'd normally go back and do this at the end but while I think of it okay so for that last section there I think we want some drums impact coming in so I've got impact loops Yeah, that's good. Put it there for a minute and find out where it comes in once more. About 120. That comes in there. Okay, how long does it last? 26 and we're fading out oh we've gone way beyond it good 126 so it finished at 130 the whole film so let's go to 130 there we go about there and there uh, we can end things there slice that and fade them out Probably same with this one. Okay, we have a rough mix. So let me make this a bit smaller. So from the beginning, I'll be making notes about what I need to change. But this is how we've put together a soundtrack or a cinematic track to this particular clip of film, which is the Halo game trailer. So I've rewinded the track, let's save it as well, and play, two, three, bolt. Okay, let's just stop that there while well, I remember these three came in too late, so I'm going to just push them up there uh, so we make sure that that fades out at the right time and the impact of that bass going lower and lower and lower. I hope you found that useful and 
that will give you confidence to add any video um, find a piece of video a game trailer is very good for this sort of thing and then create a soundscape or atmospheric backing track to a piece of video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one see you very soon